Adrenaline Radio. I'm Fred Blanchard, your host of Adrenaline Motorsports. And uh, today we have an in-studio guest, uh, Javier Vasquez. Uh, Javier and I spent some time at the Hot Rod Reunion uh, this last weekend at uh, Bakersfield, California, at the Formoso Drag Strip. And uh, we got a chance to uh, walk around and visit some of the... Uh, uh, people there in, at the facility, some potential customers, others were all-out racers, and uh, uh, the event itself was pretty spectacular, and uh, we're going to touch on that event a little bit later in our conversation, but uh, Javier and I were talking about uh, product that he makes, and uh, uh, we were discussing uh, the materials being used, and uh, Javi, i got to tell you that... Uh, uh, your reputation basically is uh, probably the best kept secret on the planet because uh, every time I turn around, uh, where people ask, uh, "Where's a good foundry?" And I says, "Well, it's right here in town." I says, "You don't have to go too far." And uh, but th- that's one of the reasons I really wanted to have you here this evening. And uh, uh, you know, with the materials and your background and uh, what goes on. Uh, it, it sounds like uh, the word is finally getting out by word of mouth, and that's one of the things that uh, uh, I'm very happy for. And uh, I know that uh, when we were there at your facility, we were watching you uh, set up uh, for pouring of engine blocks. And now they look like they were pretty much uh, all-out race blocks uh, of uh, pretty much... Uh, uh, not a standard block, from what I can see, but uh, it was kind of... Uh, uh, a derivative of, of what something that the, the Arius family had made some years ago, uh, the 8.3 liter, and that's kind of what it looked like to me. And and I also saw cylinder heads there. Uh, uh, the heads, who were you making the heads for, uh, Avi? The heads are for CNC Motorsport. Well, that's Carol Carter in Manassas, Virginia. Okay, that's him. I know Carol very well, <laughs> and uh, that's that's great. And uh, he has uh, moved forward with the development of a lot of his products. Are you doing anything in the block area for him? Yes, I do. I make two other blocks for him. You do make the blocks. Okay. Yes. Four, because, uh, 429. I four. see. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they themselves uh, are off and running to different machine shops once they're done. And I guess he's, I wonder if he's still using the local machine shops at what we call local, meaning Southern California. I'm going to assume that, of course. He does, yes. Uh, does he? Uh-huh. Uh, t- one block gets machined at Carol Shelby's uh, machine shop, and the other one gets machined at uh, BMP, I think it is, uh, Alan Ruth. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, Alan comes with his own reputation, doesn't he? He sure does. Okay. Well, <laughs> he's still out there producing parts, and I guess that's the most important part of the whole deal. Absolutely. Yeah. And, of course, uh, Carol Shelby is Carol Shelby Engineering, one of many divisions that they have. Uh, uh, I know that uh, that facility in itself is uh, uh, they make their own product, and uh, I don't know at this point in time... Uh, but I, I imagine that uh, when it's time to cast a Ford block, that you're involved with that one too, are you not? Absolutely. Uh huh. Yes. And I know that uh, they make uh, the um, the the signature Shelby engine, the the FE block, which was is found in uh, many of the uh, uh, sports products, uh, the Mustangs as an example, and uh, some of the Cobras and. Uh, mm-hmm. And then he is uh, most recently, when I say recently, the last few years, has acquired uh, a small block, and he's now developing that uh, for oh. s- some of the vehicles. So I, uh, that's kind of something new to me. Yes, that's the uh, 351 Cleaver. Uh huh. And uh, Windsor, yes, as well. Wow. And that was a uh, block that was uh, made for Fontana Automotive, and uh, they have uh, purchased. The pattern, the pattern, yeah. and, and they're now making parts. Uh-huh. Yes, they are. Well, that facility itself not only manufactures, it assembles and runs the engines on dyno, from what I can see. So it's a complete facility, and that's. Uh, and I've also seen cars there being assembled. So he, he wears all the hats over there. So he sure does. Yeah, he's got a lot going on over there. But uh, back to foundry works. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I wanted to get back to that and. Uh, we wanted to touch a little bit about uh, uh, 
aside from the casting, uh, you you uh, are sourcing uh, for the customers. Uh, I guess some of the pattern work is that correct? That's correct. We uh, we also have a, a small area that we do pattern work uh, or pattern repair and uh, pattern making to a certain level. And uh, when it's out of our reach, then we have a a company that uh, provides that service for us. Great. Well, yes. it sounds like it's uh, becoming more than full service. Uh, it, it seems like to me that uh, it's evolved and moved in a direction that, uh, uh, and the thing is that from what I can tell, uh, it looks like business is busy. It's not... Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. It, uh, it, it's been a good combination to have a one-stop shop, per se, and... Uh, the economy has taken a little turn there, and uh, we see a lot of uh, new orders coming through, and we're very happy to see all that happen. 